So here's one of my trails. And here's a problem tree right next to my trail. It's a dying poplar tree and I gotta get it out of the way. I'm gonna fight the wind on this one. The wind is coming sort of that way and I wanna make the tree go that way. Instead of falling it across my trail, creating more work for me, I will take my time. I'll cut a little bit slower and wedge it over so it goes that way. So this is a good time to do creative shit like this because I'm in no rush. I can take my time and if for whatever reason it does backfire and go the wrong way, there is nothing around here that's going to cost me a lot. <laughs> so even my ATV that's parked in the distance, it's far enough away that even if this tree goes directly in that path, it's not going to hit my ATV. So it's good time to practice. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the tree is actually leaning that way. So I'm fighting the wind and the lean.
Oh, this is actually a good opportunity to show you a little trick that I've been using for years. So this happens to me every now and then, just like everybody else. But the tree was completely hung up. And a lot of times, if you can get the tree to just twist a little bit, it'll actually rotate itself out of whatever it was hung up. In this case, it was hung up on this tree and a little bit on this one. So what you do is, because you still have a little bit of hinge left, you got to try to cut through that hinge without pinching your bar. So you come in at a 45 degree angle, then you cut a little wedge out from the side. You do that to the other side. And a lot of times that's enough to make the tree start rotating whichever way it wants to go. Thus, getting out of the hang up. So, it's not ideal, but it works quite well. So that's what the stump looks like after. There's absolutely zero holding wood, but at no point was I in danger of pinching that bar. Because once you pinch your bar, we all know it's game over. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day, everyone.